My name is Hoyn, I'm a consultant psychiatrist. Hello again, and I would like to talk about mental health disorders in the series Mental Health Disorders Explained from Global Psychiatry Archives. Uh, today I would like to refer to an, a quite rare disorder, olfactory reference disorder. So it has been described in the 18th century, but uh, it's not really something you see very often in, in these psychiatric services. You might see it in uh, GP practice. So it's more or less um, about patients experience the, fa the idea that they emit a foul or unpleasant body odor. And this usually results in stress and impairment. And I remember a patient who would really reduce her life by uh, withdrawing and staying at home because she felt that other people would smell this unpleasant smell from her body. It's very often uh, refer, um, related to referential thinking, usually means that people see things which are completely normal, that other people go away, go another way or go to the other side of the street and they think that has to do with the fact that they stink or they smell. So that's what we call referential thinking. And uh, can to lead to uh, repetitive, repetitive behavior, excessive washing, excessive use of deodorants, um, showering several times a day and just wasting life and time on this. And usually the level can be quite variable and uh, it can be quite delusional. Many people would uh, diagnose this as a delusional disorder or it would be happening with other disorders like OCD or schizophrenia. There are disorders where people have uh, smelling, which, uh, which let's say if they have an, um, an abscess or they have dental problems or erectile abscess, fistulae or other, other problems, that can be uh, related to that and can be aggravated by this, this special olfactory reference disorder. Psychiatric uh, disorders uh, are very often comorbid, social anxiety disorder, OCD, body dysmorphic disorder, delusional disorders in general, schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder, personality disorders or depression. So, Depression um, is the most common comorbidity and anxiety, OCD and all these problems related to the false belief that one emits unpleasant smells which other people might or might not be upset about. But the idea is that they smell something. The prevalence is about half to two percent, around one percent, um, can be uh, can be underreported and people can function quite well if they um, think it's normal and they put extra makeup or extra um, extra deodorants on that, so that might work. Um, treatment is, if it comes ever to the psychiatrist, is usually uh, pharmacological, you know, usually as common if something is cool with, with depression, the psychiatrist uh, grab into the bag of antidepressants or fluoxetine, paroxetine, citalopram, sertraline are uh, options. And uh, on the other hand, antipsychotics might be tried, include amisoprate, risperidone or olanzapine. Sometimes you need to combine. In the psychological treatment, it's usually CBT, which focuses on the abnormal thoughts. So it's cognitive and behavioral therapy. So it will focus on the avoidance of specific behaviors and wants the patient to make positive experiences. Some people say that eye movement, desensitization and reprocessing might be Useful. I personally have no experience on that, but I would have to learn that myself. Okay, so this is about a quite rare disorder. 
I hope you enjoy this. If you enjoyed, please uh, like us or even subscribe to our channel. And if you want to hear more about these types of mental health disorders explains, please subscribe. Thanks for your interest and goodbye.